whatever you're doing on your computer can be enhanced by better sound. The best computer speakers elevate music and movies, add immersion to games, and improve call clarity. Only with the best desktop speakers, or the best headphones, can you hear every instrument or pinpoint the exact location of that gunfire. Before we get started with our video, we have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Number 1. Audio Engine A2 Plus. They may be small, but the Audio Engine A2 Plus speakers feel reassuringly solid and well made. The elegant design and matte satin black finish blend in easily on any desktop, or you can opt to stand out with a glossy red or white exterior. The left speaker has a volume dial that also clicks on the power, and there's a pairing button for Bluetooth connections, but no remote is included. There's no separate subwoofer, either though there is an output should you want to add one. The cabling is good quality and generous enough to allow for a sit-stand desk. We were instantly blown away by the power and punch of these speakers. Tested second to last, the jump in class was immediately obvious. Strong stereo separation makes for good positional sound in games. Voices come through loud and clear, whether it's in-game chat, a movie, or a video call. But it's with music that the Audio Engine A2 Plus shows its quality and superiority. There's a real depth and accuracy to the sound with a rich clarity from low mids through to the higher registers. They may lack a little extra depth in the bass, but they produce a finely balanced and impactful sound, and you always have the option of adding a subwoofer. There's also no digital signal processing, DSP, here, which can dampen things and is present on most of the other speakers on our list. Connectivity is versatile with USB, dual analog inputs, and support for Bluetooth 5.0. It's quick and easy to connect wirelessly and support for aptX and AAC codecs, a rarity in PC speakers, ensures a high-quality audio experience when streaming. There are no superfluous extras, the Audio Engine A2 Plus focuses on delivering excellent sound in a compact, unfussy package that's perfectly sized for the desktop. The only obvious omission is a remote control, but that won't trouble most people. One issue we did encounter was a major jump in volume when switching between sources, so that's something to watch out for. Number 2. Logitech Z407. This attractively priced 2.1 speaker system comprises a pair of capsule-shaped satellite speakers and a subwoofer. The speakers are plastic, but they look quite good and can be propped vertically or horizontally on your desk so they should fit most spaces easily. The boxy subwoofer will likely sit on the floor, but sadly the cabling is too short to comfortably use with a sit-stand desk. There are no physical controls on the speakers, but there's an unusual dial remote instead. It's like a big wireless volume knob that you can also tap to play or pause, and skip forward or back through tracks. It takes two supplied AAA batteries and some time to get used to. While the subwoofer provides a good thump of bass it stops short of that deep rumble in your gut. The mids are reasonably rich and the treble is crisp, though there's a lack of definition at times. The audio quality of any content suffers at higher volumes with some distortion creeping in, but considering the price, the Z407 produces an impressively well-balanced sound. There's no virtual surround sound mode that limits positional sense in gaming, and you don't get that visceral bass from explosions that take immersion to the next level. Connectivity is decent with a micro USB port, a 3.5mm auxiliary port, and support for Bluetooth 4.1. You tap a button under the remote to connect to Bluetooth and it's easy to pair a phone or a laptop. You will want to opt for a wired connection if you can because there's limited codec support which means limited bitrate and consequently limited sound quality when streaming. The SBC codec is comparable to CD quality. Number 3. Logitech G560 LightSync. This 2.1 speaker system is part of Logitech's G range designed specifically for gamers. The G560 LightSync consists of a large subwoofer with two satellite speakers for your desktop. These compact round speakers have a curved loop that aids stability and also provides a canvas for the RGB lighting inside. Controls for volume, power, 
and Bluetooth can be found on the right speaker, and there's even a programmable button on top that cycles the lighting effects by default. There's enough length in the cabling to have the subwoofer under a standing desk, and the satellite speakers on top. The Logitech G560 LightSync sound signature is heavy on the bass out of the box, but you can use Logitech software to tweak the equalizer and choose from various presets. Playing music there's an occasional lack of clarity and definition, but these are primarily designed for PC gaming. To get the best from the Logitech G560 LightSync you must plug in via USB, but there's also a 3.5mm auxiliary port and support for Bluetooth, though sadly it's the older 4.1 standard. The Bluetooth button makes it quick and easy to connect your phone, but the sound quality isn't anywhere near as good as through the USB connection. One other issue we encountered during testing was a sudden jump when adjusting volume, which was unpleasantly jarring, though it has only happened once so far. The Logitech G560 LightSync is the best choice for gamers, especially if you love lighting effects and already have other Logitech peripherals. While they are possible for music and can get extremely loud, audiophiles can find better at this price. If games and movies come first, the Logitech G560 LightSync should be on your shopping list. Number 4. Edifier Bookshelf R1280 dB. Available in black or with a classic wood grain finish, these heavy, bulky bookshelf speakers offer an impressive range of features, strong connectivity, and excellent sound quality. These are stereo speakers with no subwoofer included here, though there is an output to add one if you want to. Dials on the right speaker's right side control volume, treble, and bass. You also get a handy, compact remote control in the box. There's a permanently attached power cable on the right speaker and plenty of lengthy cabling to attach the two. They proved too big to fit on a multi-monitor desktop, so check your space before you opt for these speakers. A wide variety of music sounds fantastic on the Edifier bookshelf are 1280 dB speakers and they offer impressive depth and real warmth. It's easy to pick out individual instruments and voices are very clear. You can tune the sound to your preference, but the bass is limited. You won't get that low rumble that a subwoofer can provide, which is missed most when gaming or watching movies. There's also no virtual surround sound feature, though the positional sound is surprisingly good when gaming. It's important to connect using the RCA or optical input for best results. There's support for the newer Bluetooth 5.0, which is swift, easy to connect to, and reliable, but the sound quality isn't as strong when you connect wirelessly. All in all these speakers offer good value with enough features and strong enough performance to please most people. If you've been living with a tiny and tinny pair of speakers, the Edifier Bookshelf R1280 dBS will feel like a major upgrade. Number 5. Logitech Z906. If you want a true surround sound experience without breaking the bank, the Logitech Z906 is a 5.1 system that's sure to catch your eye. The speakers are reassuringly heavy, with a durable feel, and the subwoofer is enormous. The five satellite speakers are identical, with the center speaker simply turned on its side, all are angled upwards to make the most of the sound. There's also a simple remote control and a separate control unit with orange LEDs to show the input and which speakers are currently active. Regular thin speaker cables are provided, but you'll want to plan placement carefully for the best results. Even though the satellite speakers are fairly compact this system claims a lot of desk space because you have the left, right, and center speakers, and the control unit. The speakers are fairly nondescript, but the control unit is ugly. As you'd expect of a system this powerful with such a large subwoofer, the bass is deep and delivers a rumble you can feel coming up through the soles of your feet and into your gut. That powerful bass enhances action movies and games, though you'll want to turn it down for music. There's good separation of instruments and voices come through even in noisy scenes. The only way you'll get a better positional sense in a game is by wearing headphones. There are plenty of input options with the Z906, but also some strange emissions for a system like this. You've got 3.5mm, RCA, 6-channel direct, digital coaxial, or optical, but there's no HDMI or USB and no support for Bluetooth. It's worth mentioning that Logitech does sell a Bluetooth receiver separately, so you could always add Bluetooth support. 
This system is thanks certified and supports Dolby Digital and DTS, though it stops short of HD formats. Ultimately, if you're seeking a surround sound alternative to headphones and you have understanding neighbors the Z906 truly enhances immersion for gaming and movies. Number 6. Creative Stage V2. This modestly sized soundbar is finished in glossy black, which looks slick but immediately attracts dust. It's a good size for most desktops and proved easier to accommodate than some speakers. And LED under the grill in the center lights up to display the connection and volume level. The Creative Stage V2 comes with a large separate subwoofer, but the relatively short cable makes it unsuitable for use with a sit-stand desk. You can find power, volume, and Bluetooth controls on the right edge and there's also a good remote control in the box. The Stage V2 also nails the rumbling bass you want for action movies and games, but there's sometimes a lack of definition and clarity when playing music. It can sound a little muddy, though you can tweak the bass and treble. We appreciated the clear dialogue option for bringing clarity to voices. The surround mode cranks up the bass and general impact for added excitement. This soundbar struggles to fill a large room and sounds best when you're around 3 feet away, which makes it a good choice for the computer. Connectivity is excellent with HDMI arc, optical, USB, auxiliary, and support for Bluetooth 5.0. It's quick and easy to connect to your phone via Bluetooth and stability is good, but there's no AAC or aptX codec support, so music quality suffers slightly. Ultimately, the Creative Stage V2 is an affordable choice if movies and games are your priority and a soundbar is a good fit for your desktop.